Hi, David here, and the project for today is installing a new dishwasher. This dishwasher is from the 1970s. It's a Sears. There's nothing wrong with it, but wife wants a new dishwasher. I don't ask any questions around here. I just do as I'm told. So there's three, three things to disconnect. The power, the water supply, and the water drain. There might also be some hardware that secures the dishwasher to the cabinet. I don't know. I'll find out when I get into the project. First thing to do, I'm going to disconnect the power. The best way to do that is to disconnect it at the circuit breaker for safety purposes. I'm going to turn the dishwasher on, but I don't want it to fill with water, so I'm going to put it on the dry cycle and that should turn on an indicator lamp and then I'm going to go to the circuit breaker start turning off circuits and I'm going to have someone watch the indicator light for me to let me know when I turn off the proper circuit. Remove this lower panel. Now that was easy. And find out where the power comes in. I better get a light. Okay, it looks like the power is coming up right through there. I'm going to remove those two wire nuts, disconnect the power. Then after I do that, I'm going to cap off the power lines and then turn the circuit breaker back on because the refrigerator is on the same circuit with the dishwasher and I don't want the food to spoil. Power is disconnected. The next step is to disconnect the water drain. And the water drain comes in right here. Just undo that clamp and remove the clamp and you can pull it out through the access hole in the panel which is up there. The next step is to remove the water supply and the water supply comes in right here. Oh, my hands in the way right there. I'm going to remove that nut and then go to underneath the sink where the water comes from and get some light on the subject. And before I remove that first nut I'm going to turn off the water supply here because as you can see that pipe or that hose comes in through the dishwasher side and goes right up to here. I'm also going to remove the hose right here too just to ease on the removal of the dishwasher. I might have to just remove the hose altogether to get it out of the way. First let's turn this off and then I can remove the hose. It's going to be a mess of water around here so get a lot of rags ready. The thing to do is get yourself a pry bar like that and pry away this little uh, piece of trim or kick panel get that out of the way because that's in the way of removing the uh, dishwasher. And there is some hardware that is holding the uh, dishwasher down to the floor. If you look right in there, there's one right, oh my hands in the way, but it's right there. That's the uh, 7 16 bolt so I'm going to get my ratchet on that and there's also one on the left side as well. Probably can't see it from here, but that is it's over there, right there. Wow, that looks like I'm gonna need a deep wall socket for that. Okay, get back to Everybody's work. Everybody's disconnected. Get someone strong like your wife to pull it out. Okay, before you slide in the new unit. Take the power, the water supply, and the water drain and wind it through the, the cubby, through the wall, to the area under the sink so you could hook it up. I was able to get in there and clean it out and paint it. Doesn't look pretty. And uh, then I'm going to slide in the, the new unit and then hook up the power. and uh, That should be it. No, I'm going to have to fasten the uh, the clamps, the clamp it to the floor as well. Got the water supply connected. Got the drain connected. Connecting the power. Here's the ground. Got one power line. Gonna cap off the other power line. The uh, 
don't worry, the uh, power's cut off. The connection for the anchor to the floor is different on this model, so I'm going to have to catch up with that with some new parts from the hardware store. The level was way off. I got a bubble level here. And uh, I think I have to raise the front maybe another sixteenth of an inch. So uh, that's done by cranking on these. These take a three quarter inch. These feet here take a three quarter inch wrench. And give it a quarter turn twice on each side. Another one here. And that should bring me in. The new dishwasher is installed and functioning properly. Thank you for watching.